One of the biggest Jewish holidays of the year gets started tomorrow. Channel 3's Elliot Polikoff takes a look at how different Connecticut communities are celebrating Passover. Whether it's Passover meals or Passover services, things are going to be a little different this year. Passover is all about spending time with others, but that takes on a different meaning during this COVID-19 pandemic. This is crisis management, and we have to do anything we can possibly do to help the people in our community get through this. So the Jewish Federation and Jewish Community Foundation of Greater Hartford work together to deliver 1,500 kosher for Passover meals to any locals who might not currently have access to food. When we tell them that we're going to be delivering food to them, we've had many of them cry. Um, I mean, they're literally so worried. They're literally so worried about where they're going to receive uh, food and how they're going to, to uh, perform for the holiday, and they're deeply emotional. A little food goes such a long way, but without being able to enjoy it with others at the Seder or the feast that kicks off Passover, the full experience remains incomplete. That's where synagogues are starting to get creative. A number of our families are having their own private, personal Zoom Seders. Someone called it a Zader. The idea is, at least on Passover, no one should be alone. Everyone should be together, and we can't be together in person. At least let's be together over the computers. And whether in front of a screen or in front of a doorstep, the plan for all of these Jewish organizations is to keep being together for the entirety of this COVID-19 pandemic. The food service is going to go on, the financial assistance that we're giving out to the Jewish community members and to our institutions are going to happen, and the phone calls are definitely going to happen. This community has built institutions for this very moment, uh, and these institutions now are rising to the occasion. Obviously, no one wants this to become the new Passover, but the important thing is, is that people are coming together to make this one one to remember. In West Hartford, Ellie Polikoff, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.